Hey y'all, hey Amanda here. Welcome back to another Rewind Spread video. This video is going to be for the week of January 23rd to the 29th in my Happy Planner and I'm using this three sheet kit from Nikki Plus Three. So it's got checklists, half boxes, some flags, a weekend banner, deco, and then full boxes as well. Really cute kit and actually the colors go pretty well with the colors in the monthly um the colors for the month in the happy planner so the january colors the teal and the like tannish yellowish orangish shade it's hard to describe that color it kind of looks really yellow on the screen so i'm just gonna call it a yellow so i'm just getting ready i am approaching this spread a little differently i'm marking my work with erin condren stickers i mentioned in a previous video I'd probably be incorporating Erin Condren stickers into these rewind spreads a good bit since I literally have all of the Erin Condren stickers that I have ever had from Erin Condren planners. I don't know why I've hoarded them, but I think it's time to probably use them. And I'm going to rotate the boxes from top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom, except for when we get to the weekend. I'm going to put those ones in the middle just for a decorative effect and then I'm going to kind of rotate the checklists in a similar fashion. So I'm just approaching these rewind spreads in a different manner every time. I figure this is really my chance to experiment with spread layouts since with my Erin Condren planner, I want it to be super functional, so I stick to a layout that has really served me well in being functional from, I don't know, I, I think it only took me a few months when I started planning to really get into the groove with the style I currently have, and I've mixed it up here and there. Like my most recent plan with me, I don't know if it'll be the most recent one by the time this video is published, but I did a spread with a Sweet Kawaii design set and I kind of mixed it up and then the spread I did with Keisha Glam, I mixed things up a little a little bit. So I do change things up here and there depending upon the kit and you might see me doing that more often in my Erin Condren simply because I am going through and really using up all the kits I have been stashing needlessly for so long. I've held on to so many things absolutely unnecessarily for so long and I need to use it all. That scale sticker is from Amber's Design Studio and I've mentioned in a previous video I don't know where these TV stickers are from but um they're a pretty generic TV sticker. A lot of shops have that clip art and I would recommend just typing in TV sticker on Etsy, you'll probably find that really easily. That phone sticker I've probably had as a freebie for like a year and a half, two years. Don't know where it came from, I don't remember that far back. And then the trash can sticker is from, oh gosh, I've done this in every single video. What is wrong with me? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up right now. The trash can sticker is from Pink Blushing Daisies. I knew it was something with daisies. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of that shop. And then that little laptop appointment sticker is from Plan in Color. I think in a previous video I'd said it was Planet in Color, but it's just Plan in Color. And then I used an Erin Condren birthday sticker. This orange, I really, it's not like heavily featured in the kit. It's in some of the flowers, but I really liked using it as an accent color because I think it sort of accentuated the orange and made it more of a key player. I think it looks gorgeous. And I think orange is a underrated color anyway. It's really pretty. I'm a fan, personally. Maybe I should paint a room in near orange. I don't know. I was going to get wallpaper for one of the walls in my office, but now I'm thinking I should paint it orange. It's like a creamy, buttery yellow right now, and I'm not feeling it. It's the only wall in the office I didn't bother to paint, because why paint it if I'm just going to be putting wallpaper on it? But I don't know, orange might be nice too. So I've moved on to the second half of the week now, and I'm just setting up the weekend. I am using these two, like, what kind of tree? Is that like a birch tree or something? 
I don't know, I don't know the names of trees very well. But I'm using these two like bark printed stickers and putting the gorgeous weekend banner on top of that. Can we talk about this weekend banner? That's one of the most beautiful weekend banners I've ever seen. So it's like laid out sort of like a, a banner and it's got a nice curve to it and we, the word weekend is overlaid on top of little vases of flowers. It's beautiful. I am kind of obsessed. It's sort of big for like a normal spread for me anyway. Like that's a giant weekend banner, but I loved it in this spread and I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. That's another thing I have a ton of. I have so many weekend banners and they come with kits now. So why do I have a million weekend banners? Who knows? I don't need a million weekend banners, but I have them. So I need to start making an effort to actually use them in things because they're just sort of uh, wasting away in one of my binders just waiting for their day to shine and it hasn't came yet. I feel bad. I'm sure the, the stickers don't care, you know, because they're inanimate objects and they literally can't care. So there's that. But I really do have a lot of stuff that I need to use. And I actually am enjoying these rewind spreads for like going into my binder and pulling things. I don't typically pull out or things that maybe are a standard in most kits now that I just don't reach for. So it's been really fun. I've been enjoying it. So I'm using these little mystery TV stickers again that I have no idea where they're from. They're really cute and like super retro. I just don't know what shop they came from. We may never know. I'm going to lay down this really cute flag. Like I love these flags too, but I would never use them in a normal spread. Marking my payday and then just using the last, I think that's the last half box in the kit. I'm going to put down a Lazy Day Cloud sticker from Aria's Daydream. I had a couple of Lazy Day weekends in a row because I went out a couple weekends in a row. So, yeah, did a little bit of partying. I'm using from Planning Rocket a little fork, spoon, and knife sticker. And I went on Etsy and searched, like, a couple different ways for planning rocket. I don't know if it's a shop anymore, unfortunately. Um, it's really sad because I liked those stickers a lot. I really liked their stickers. I used a gas sticker, which I think was a leftover from a really, really old sponsored by Coffee Kit. If not, it was from a really old ColourPop paper kit when they were still Addy and Alley, one of those shops. And then I'm using the really cute my little chickadee co weight stickers to mark the days I worked out this week and this was like the last week I worked out consistently and then I sort of fluttered off course and then from let's make it sparkle I'm using a little shopping bag sticker because I went thrifting Saturday morning with Suzanne and Austin and Suzanne has a channel I'm not I don't remember how often she posts I don't think she's posted in a while, but I'll link to her channel down below. And I'll put a little iCard thing for my thrift haul so you can see everything that I got that day. It was a really, really, really good thrift haul. I got some gorgeous lamps and some books and some really cute dishware, a couple of really cute sweaters. So I'll have to link to that somewhere around. Look for it. I have my thrifting haul video. I really, really enjoyed that day. It was so much fun. We were there for like two and a half hours at the Goodwill. It was the biggest, most like organized, clean Goodwill I've been in. And I'm so glad it's only right up the street. That was very exciting. So I'm just filling in the sidebar right now with those two pretty flags and then some of these dot stickers. And then putting a little heart over there on that half box and the little spray bottle in the cleaning section just because I wanted to use the sticker uh, and it kind of fit in that little to clean section and then making a little grocery list. This set of stickers, or this sheet of stickers rather, I got in a Pip Stick subscription and uh, they're just like birthday themed sort of kawaii 
Asian stickers. I'm not sure what the country of origin is, but there is like some sort of Asian writing on them I, that I don't recognize. So I'm putting them anywhere. There's like a birthday activity. And then I'm sticking another little plan and color laptop sticker on Sunday because I did do some editing. Now I'm just going to fill in with writing. And I've explained this before. My writing, my handwriting is, you know, very equivalent to if you gave a dolphin a pen and taped it to its flipper and, you know, tried to make it right. I just don't have very neat handwriting. And I've given up on trying to get neat handwriting. As much as I try, it just, it, it isn't pretty. It's not Instagram worthy whatsoever. So I just kind of, I don't know if it's double speed or quadruple speed. I think I might put this on quadruple speed and just kind of sort of swing through this really quickly. So what have you guys been up to? My poor Austin is sick today. We went out to brunch and he hacked his lungs out in the restaurant. I thought so bad. It was kind of icky, but the poor guy is just sick. He thought he was feeling well this morning. Oh, I didn't mention that camera sticker is from Odd Luke. So he thought he was feeling well, and we get there, and he's just like deteriorating, poor guy. And he had a fever by the time we got home. So when we got home, he was so cold. So I put him in bed. And that sticker, no idea where that came from, or that one. They just fit the color scheme, and so I thought I'd add them. This little ribbon, which says, didn't buy all the stickers, that's from Pop This Paper. And now I'm going to fill in with some deco. Anyway, he was so cold when we got home, I had to put two comforters on top of him. And he took some Tylenol, and I think his fever broke. But I think it might be back now. It's a few hours later now. We made him some tea, and he's just in bed. Poor I, I feel bad, because there's really nothing I can do to help. I thought he had a cold at first, but now I'm thinking he might have the flu. And I'm hoping it's one of the strains that I was vaccinated for. Because homegirl don't want to waste her PTO on the flu. I got too much stuff going on this year. And I cannot afford to lose those days. That would be horrible. But I just hope he gets better soon. Because I hate seeing my babe sick. Because there's nothing I can do. And I feel so, like, helpless. But... What are you going to do when these things happen in life? You just have to let it run its course. I probably shouldn't have had him running around the past couple of days, but we had a lot of stuff that we already had pre-planned to do, and he's been a major trooper about it. So, I have a really good boyfriend, guys. <laughs> he's awesome. going to put down this really cute fox sticker now. These voiceover videos are fun, but they're seriously, like, parching if that's a word i get so thirsty talking this much so I, I have some tea next to me we ran out of peppermint tea poor austin was really wanting some yesterday and i just i, I refuse to buy more tea until we use some up because our tea drawer is like stuffed it is packed i don't think we can fit any more liquid in that drawer not liquid tea bags in that drawer if we tried there's just so many so the spread is complete now. I'm going to put it back in the planner on the coils or the discs or whatever they're called. And I think it's really cute. The aesthetics of this kit is probably one of my favorites I've done so far for a, re a rewind spread. So um, I really enjoyed this one. And if you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time I post a video, you can hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button. That's a handy little tool. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And I really want to know if you think that my rewind spreads are getting better because I'm really trying. I'm putting in the energy and trying to do better each time. So definitely let me know that as well. And otherwise, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye, my loves.